Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, in this video here, we're going to take a look at uh, how to play a game on the board and and uh, import it. And you don't even need the app at all to do this. Well, to get the, to, to get the game off the board. So in other words, you can just turn the board on us and immediately start playing. So I have here the board. We're going to turn it to the side and see if I can get this to focus here for you all here. Yeah. So this is the obviously the own button here. Let's see if I can get out of here. About right there own button here uh this is the button that you would use to like uh do certain things with like uh, uh connect the bluetooth or get um or actually it's for the reset the board when you play another game and um this status light here that's orange is what's going to be important in this case let's go ahead and turn the board on so you got the long press the power button for about three seconds and it'll pop on as you can see this uh blue light here uh green light i mean green light here blue light uh flashing indicating it's ready for bluetooth and the status is orange when it's when you see this status is orange that means that you can be immediately begin to move game move pieces and it will save it internally and once you finish with your game you will hold this down for about three seconds and you'll see the um status light change let's see what happens here let's see what it changed now let's see here Maybe after I hit it a few times, let me see something. I got Okay, I hit it. I guess because I haven't started anything yet. So really what you're supposed to do is when you hit plus, it will activate the status and say when you finish the game. I guess there's no pieces on the board. That's why you don't see anything changing at this point. I thought you I thought I could illustrate it here. But anyway, you would hit this game, hit this once, and, it, and this orange light will come on like it is now in between games. And then hold this button down for about three seconds at the end of the game to store that game to the internal memory. And when that memory fills up, when you import the games to your PC, it automatically removes them from the memory and a board will hold 50 games. So this is a really, really, really awesome feature that they added and uh, it's really just a simple click, just using this button right here to uh, set it up and to store your game. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and begin. All right, so and this and also this is with the uh, pc app that you import the games so okay let's go ahead and start putting some pieces up here set the board up really quickly oops what well, i said a bad bishop can be a tall pawn sometimes so all right so uh so far like i said what i can say about this board i mean for the for it being a kickstarter and pretty much a brand new sort of prototype project i mean it's very well polished in terms of just what it's meant to do is to play chess uh the software is is very so far very good i mean it's um i think they delivered quite well on that uh, i think they're going to do a few tweaks in there probably change some things around but still as it stands um you know this is uh i would definitely say this here is a winner so far especially with the integration of how they uh integrate it with um lee chess and so you can play online all right, so everything is on the board now. So you just heard that beep. I guess that indicate that it's ready. So what we're going to do, we're just going to play this uh, a, a sort of a fictitious game here. I'm going to just make up some moves here. I'm just make up some moves here. Not anything special. We're going to play something. Um, let's just do something wild and crazy here. All right. We're going to push this. I'm going to take this with this queen. And the whole idea is I'm just going to play a wild game. It just doesn't make any sense. So when we go and look at it online, you can you'll know that the game was actually saved and, and imported here. Uh, I'm going to take this. Then I'm going to come to here with my other queen here. And I'm going to take this. Oh, one thing, if you make an illegal move during your game, I'm not sure if it won't save the PGN or not. But if you keep playing, I, I don't know if it'll, in other words, would it truncate the PGN it already has or will it discard it? I'm not sure. I'll have to test that out. That'll be in another that'll be another setup right here. I just want to make sure I illustrate the point of playing a game and saving it. So anyway, this here is um pretty funny. So we're just gonna do something like this. I'm just gonna do something like this. I'm just gonna do something like this. I'm gonna just do something like this. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go check, we're gonna go here. Um, let's just make a quick mate real quick. Go here. Gonna castle. Thank you if he goes here. I think this, wait a minute. If I go here, 
he takes here I think this here would be a checkmate here yeah that's a checkmate oh no it's not uh, let's just make it a I'll make it a checkmate go right here here there we go yeah that's a checkmate there all right so uh, with that said um, now being that this wild and crazy fake fake game is over with um, you hold this button down for about three seconds here and I know it's kind of you can't really see it but I, I and I'll try to do this again with another um, camera just so you can see it. well you hold this down hold up first I'll show you this let's look at this for one second here if you see this right here um, hold it down and the internal storage and the LED light will turn off I don't know if you can see that if it tell you to hold it down for about three seconds and when that orange light turns off you know the game was just saved and then to reset the board for the next game just just hit the button again that so I'm gonna hold it down for about three seconds here see what we got here all right the status light turned off so what that means is that the game has been saved and if I wanted to start a new game I just simply hit this right here you heard the beep and that orange light is back on just just that simple so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and connect my USB cord here and um, which it uh, and it, you, Bluetooth works fine I'm just doing USB since it's fast and as you see as soon as I plug it up see how fast that was it just connected right to the board and you can see exactly what's on the board just like that <clears throat> all right so um, to get to the imported games you go over here to imported games and um, let's see here I can remember what I did here earlier to to get this to import here let's see okay so maybe it's not it's on the screen here let's go back to the home right quick confirm uh, let's see game record yeah Cats and Papa, no, that's uh, let's see here. Let me see, what did I have to do to get this? Oh, import. Here we go. There we go. Sorry, it was right on the home screen. You just did a little orange thing that said import. You just click that, and what happens is that when you import a game, it pulls it from the memory here. So you and say your friend or whoever can play, I believe, 50 games and it'll store 50 games internally, and you can then import them on your computer here. And then you can then I'll show you what's cool about all of this here in a second. So um, right here, um, if we look at uh, here's the game here, if we just go through the game, go one. See, as you can tell, this is a crazy game we just played. So you can see that it's actually on the computer now. And um, apparently I must have made a, an, an illegal move here because, again, oh, I see what it does. If for some reason it, it adds all the fins. So. It will say the PG. It must have been some kind of illegal move I made here. I don't know what I done, but um, it saves the fins to these games. So that's pretty awesome that it actually saves multiple fins. So in case of something messed up, you can take the position, take the fin, uh, and figure it out. That's pretty awesome. So uh, with that said, uh, let's go here to this button here. If you click this right here, you can just copy the, the PDF here. You also got the fin diagram here and um, you can also get a URL for your game as well and save it with this and I'll show you how to do that here. So now if you go here to this little thing here, what it does, this little like a bullseye with an arrow in the middle, you click that and what it opens. Yeah, and it opens up Lee Chess and I, and I know you can't see the whole entire screen, but you can see good enough that that um, the game is now uploaded to Lee Chess. And it actually even gives it a link right here. So now this game has been imported to Lee, imported to Lee Chess. And now you have a link. So say if you wanted to share a game with, say, somebody across the country, you just import it to to Lee Chess and you send them the link. And there, there you have it. It'd be just that simple. And um, right here, see right here, say undetermined. So that's what happened was that um, when I made some kind of weird move that was illegal, it stopped this particular Fin and then started added fin diagrams. That's what the period had done. So I think that's a really good saving feature. So really, you don't lose all your data. So that's good. Good on their behalf that they actually done that. That's a pretty pretty good idea and thoughtfulness. So, because again, like I said, unterminated. So that guess this me not finished. All right. So now if we go uh, back to the thing and go back to the Chestnut software. So that's that. That's just. Um, how you save a game over the board and how you play over the board just that simple you just turn it on when you see the orange light lit you just begin to play 
once the pieces on the board it's just that simple and then in the end you hold that button that plus button down for three seconds and it saves it to the board memory so let's go back to the home one more last thing i want to show you in this video here is that um we go here to the uci engines and you can see you can upload engines i uh, installed the latest version of leela installed the latest version of stockfish now something interesting about this is that now let's go hit play computer versus friend now if you pick one of these engines here because by default they got starfish 11 and 13 installed let's, let's pick leela for example the difficulty level is one through eight so presumably they have some sort of way to tone their, any engine down i'm not sure if that's the case or not so i'm gonna test it out now one thing they could do i thought about it how they could do that is um they could probably have a way to tell the engine to pick and say on level one not to pick any lines that give anything more than you know plus one in favor of the opponent so that way it'll prune really good lines for itself and only play lines that are not so great so to play at a very low level maybe that's how it works i'm not sure but um but be it as it may they have this this difficulty level set one to eight and i will be testing that out uh, in another video so i just wanted to show you that so that said um that is the end of the video very nice uh beautiful a very nice interesting checkmate here on the board and um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next video all right bye